You know, a lot of times in math, we have to write numbers out, but when there's fractions, we don't want square roots in the denominator. There's a really great trick to simplify fractions like that by using what are called rationalizing denominators. And here's how you do it. It's really simple. Take a look at 5 square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2. If you want to rationalize the denominator, we just multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. Doesn't change the value of the quantity. It's equivalent. But now on the bottom, I've got the square root of 4, which is just 2. And on the top, I see 5 times square root of 3 times square root of 2, which from our property is the square root of 6. And so now you'll notice it's the exact same quantity as before, but now you'll see that there's no square root in the denominator. And that's really useful, especially in an area of math called calculus. Let's take a look at this example here. Square root of 2 divided by the square root of 12. How would you handle that? Well, the first thing I would do is write this as square root of the whole thing, 2 over 12. Then I can actually simplify a little bit and write that fraction as square root of 1 over 6. Then I can break it up and write it as square root of 1 over square root of 6. Well, the square root of 1 is just 1, so I have 1 over the square root of 6. Now, if I want to rationalize the denominator, I'd multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 6, and I'd get square root of 6 over 6. No problem. 